hello guys welcome back to power of mindset yields uh, today we are going to have uh, a detailed uh, expert option walkthrough uh, so uh, if I head over to YouTube and you go to the search bar you uh, type uh, expert option expert option expert option then uh, power of mindset yields hit enter uh, you can see I have already made uh, part one and part two about expert option and if you hit one of the videos uh, it will take you to that very video but I just want to tell you that you can get the link if you go to the description click here on more if you click on this link you guys you can uh, get direct to the expert option application or you can either go to google play store and download it uh, if you do not have it or if you don't wish to use my link however let me go and open it since i already installed it and see uh, the interface and how we can uh, completely understand much more about expert option all right so as it is loading, you guys, I want you, or I would like you to help me, uh, do me a favor, hit the subs subscribe button, and uh, turn on the notification bell icon. Don't forget to like the video, please, it's a simple request, takes nothing, and a few seconds to do it. So uh, this is the interface, uh, you can see uh, on the top, I have uh, my real balance here and uh, if i click on it you can see the real balance is 39.57 dollars but the demo is uh, this amount uh, you can remove it by clicking here uh, here on this x then uh, this are uh, the social trading are uh, the people who are buying and selling uh, the figures which are in uh, green uh, those ones who are buying the figures which are in red are those ones who are predicting that the price will go low which means they are selling and if you want to remove them you just tap here on this human icon with a plus head then you click on it twice and it will be removed okay so uh, when you go to these three bars uh, if you click there it will show you each and everything there one there is trade uh, which means you are going to be trading and selling and buying and on the profile uh, you'll be able to see uh, your details your information about your profile then when you go to finances you'll be able to see uh, the withdrawal the deposits and each and everything then the news and the help center if you have any other challenge that you would like uh, expert option to sort out then you can find it there then the settings tab and the exit let's uh, first head over to each and everything you can go to trade and uh, this is the interface which will appear go back click on profile you can see my profile is here and uh, my personal information my contact each and everything then the profile the trading history analytics documents each and everything and if you want to edit you can go here uh, on this pen icon then you can edit each and everything then you get back and you go to finances if you click on finances you can see the deposit the payment history the withdraw so uh, the deposit is where i am currently and if i want to deposit some money uh, like in my real account and i want to begin to trade i can use uh, mtn i can use airtel i can use visa or mastercard binance pay crypto etc uh, if you do not know about binance pay and crypto or how to use visa or mastercard you can uh, hit the comment section whatever you ask i'll be able to answer all right so um that's about deposits uh let's go to the payment history uh that means you have ever withdrawn or deposited and these are the my uh these are my transactions so far uh, because i began on 24th uh, of uh October 2022 uh, 20, that's when I deposited ten dollars and I withdrew fifteen dollars May 28th I deposited a hundred dollars I got a bonus of twenty dollars guys I want to remind you and tell you actually that uh, when you deposit above twenty dollars there are some of the uh, 
bonuses uh, expert option will give you. I will show you that. Um, I was using MTN uh, mobile money. Uh, that's what I used to deposit, and I got twenty dollars as a bonus. Then uh, on thirty first. Uh, on 31st October 2022, I withdrew $125, and then on 1st um, November 2022, I had a deposit of $50, and I got a bonus of $10. That's the payment history. Then when you go to withdraw, it will show you all the successful withdrawals that you were able to make, okay? Uh, so uh, when you go to the payment history, that's where yeah, you find the deposit and the withdraw and the withdraw history. Then on the withdraw, you want to actually withdraw some of your funds. And uh, one thing I need to tell you that the bonus they give is just for trading. You cannot withdraw it. it. Should be helping you to actually place a higher trade or a higher deal, but you cannot withdraw it. In other words, you can make profit out of it, but you cannot. Uh, withdraw that very bonus. I repeat it. Uh, this bonus they give when you are trading to enable you to get a higher um, volume of trade or a deal, but you cannot withdraw. You'll be using your real money to deposit and withdraw. Now, when you want to withdraw, that bonus is deducted. That's why you are seeing that if you submit a withdrawal request, all active women uh, bonuses will be removed from your account. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's how you withdraw. And, and I want uh, actually to tell you that some of the withdrawal methods uh, can as well be uh, MTN, Airtel, um, Visa or MasterCard, Skill, Perfect Money, Ethereum, Web Money. But me, I use Ethereum in my first video. I took me, I, I actually, I withdrew and it took me a one day to receive my funds. But the second time and the third time, it took me uh, less than one hour. So that's how cool our uh, expert option is. So we we'll head back and we we'll go back to news. If you want to get news about what you are trading, the assets and each and everything about expert option, you can find them here. All right, so let's head back. You we'll go to help center. Uh, if you want to ask any question, uh, expert option, if you have any other challenge, you can uh, chat with the support team by hitting here and uh, it will open or they will connect you to a support team. Uh, however, for now, I don't have any other issue uh, to raise. That's why I will head back uh, to uh, the support. Okay, so this is where you begin to type whatever you need to ask. All right, so let's head back. Let's head back to to help center. I still. Um, the education if you want to learn anything about expert option for example maybe if you're a newbie and know nothing about trading you can hit on the education and uh, you'll be able to learn a lot of things there okay if you want to know if they are regulated you can go to the regulation tab and if you want to know the frequently asked questions you can go here on the first queue and it will uh, answer some of the questions before you ask all right, all right, all right. So let's go head back uh, to settings. If we click on settings, you can see that um, here you can select the language you uh, would like to be using. Uh, probably me, I use English, and uh, that's it. Uh, if you want to be placing the trades or deals, uh, maybe buy and sell, and uh, you want to be hearing the sounds, then you can turn on this uh, bar. Where you will be hearing those sounds there and if you want uh, your deals to be reflected maybe the results if you have won or if you have not won then you can also put it on you can see for me it is on then the active session to shows you uh, the assets which you are trading if they are active or inactive for example if it is on weekend we are aware that forex trading um, the forex currencies uh, are inactive from Saturday to Sunday so they will be active from Monday to Friday all right so crypto uh, is ever active from Monday to Monday that's why when you head back to the trade uh, tab here you can see that uh, when I see the pair when I see the pairs which is Forex uh, trading let's say uh, euro USD 
GBP USD, USD JPY, Euro Audi, Euro JPY, USD card, GBP card, ETC. Mm -hmm. All of these are current pairs and uh, they will be active from Monday up to Friday. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to change uh, the assets, you can go to cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin, top crypto index, Alta coin, index, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Cardano, uh, Cardano it is inactive. But these you can see they even give you the percentages which will be your profit figure. All right. So uh, another thing you need to know is that uh, when you are trading here, you are going to be focusing on uh, the asset with the highest uh, percentage, which is the return on investment. What do I mean? For example, like Bitcoin is having 80, uh, top crypto index is 80. And you can see the following ones are having the list. If we go to currencies, uh, you can see Euro USD is having 87, which means if I'm to trade, I'll be focusing on Euro USD because if I press a deal, let me say I'm staking five dollars, and I win, I will get 87 percent of five dollars. That's how everything works. Otherwise, if I go for the asset with the lowest for the lowest uh, return on investment, it means I'll be losing um, uh, much compared to what I'll be gaining. All right, so let's take Euro USD as uh, an example here. Then you click on confirm. Okay, this is the chart. So now you have understood uh, the details within the these three bars. And uh, I told you that when you click here, you will see the real balance and the demo accounts. The other thing you need to know is uh, <coughs> you need to know about uh, uh, the chart you are using. Uh, I hope you have already mastered uh, the assets. Where to find the assets? You click here on this left corner on the Euro USD, and it will give you all the assets you need. Uh, if you want to change from currencies, you can go to cryptocurrencies. And if you want to change from cryptocurrencies, you can go to stocks. And if you want to change from stocks, you can go to commodities. You can see some of these commodities they have. All of them are giving 80% as a return on investment once you press a deal. So another thing I need to tell you about stocks is that uh, like in Uganda, they open... Uh, from uh, actually 5 uh, 4 p.m. up to uh, midnight that's why that's when the, the market is active in other words and as for here you can see it is inactive and so I cannot trade stocks for now until it is 4 p.m. of the day until midnight here in Uganda uh, you can use your time zone uh, whichever country you come from then to help you to know when to trade um, stocks so let's head back to currencies and i'll be taking euro usd in the consideration and let's head over to the charts when you click on those two bars uh, you will see one here we have the area chart it looks like this if i say confirm the area chart will be looking like this and most of you when you install the app this is the chart you'll be seeing however if you come back here you can change it to a line chart if you wish you click there and you confirm and the line chart will appear so this is the line chart another thing if you want to change from a line chart you can go to a candlestick chart where most of uh, traders belong i myself that's where I belong. I normally use this candlestick chart because it is very easy to interpret if you know or if you have an idea about it. I have uh, a whole book explaining uh, those candlesticks. If you are interested, you can also uh, uh, request it uh, via the comment section to know if you really need it. Or follow me to my Telegram group and the link will be in the description. 
then I will gladly sell it to you for free. Okay. So another thing you can go to bars. Uh, it is also another kind of all type of charts. You can click there, then confirm, and this is how it looks like. These are the bars or a bar chart. Okay, cool. Let me come back to my candlestick chart. Then I call farm. Another thing is the time frames. These are time frames, and how do we use them? It means if I'm using, for example, like a candlestick chart, it, uh, each candle will be forming after five seconds. If I go to 10 seconds, each candle will be forming after 10 seconds. If I go to 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, each candle will be forming after uh, one minute. Okay, so you can continue. And if uh, the main point here is that when you go to one minute, uh, to be showing you how candles will be forming. Now, a candle, if I click on confirm, a candle is formed of uh, one, the high and the low, and the open and the close. And uh, you can see here we have white bars. We have blue bars. Now, the current bar is a blue one. Okay? And uh, when uh, a blue is actually showing a uh, seller, so it's indicating, uh, indicating sellers, it opens at the top and uh, closes at the bottom. Uh, these uh, ticks you are seeing, they are called wicks or shadows and they mean reject, uh, rejection in forex trading not only actually forex trading but financial market trading where you find such a chart like this it means that they are using the same information now the bigger the candle uh, the bigger or the rather the higher the momentum I don't know if you are trying to understand so if uh, for example the white bar which uh, represents buyers or bulls uh, strikes up and closes above it means buyers are coming in with momentum and they are likely to take over the sellers and price will go higher and when you are predicting then you click on buy that is if you have found your good entry. All right, so that's it. Let me go to this uh, second option here. And where you are seeing number two, when I click on it, it will show you all the indicators you are going to be using. There is the alligator and the awesome oscillator, Bollinger Bands, each and everything. Uh, personally, currently I'm using the moving average. If I want to remove them, let me remove them. Uh, you can see, uh, I can click, I can uh, click here, add to, then click here and click on this red X. The list is empty. When you see on my chart, they are nowhere to be seen. So, uh, can I add them? Absolutely, yes. I go to moving average, and here uh, I will say 10 moving average. Depends on whatever you are using. You can say 5 or 10, 15, 20. Uh, but currently, I'm using a 10 moving average, a simple moving average, and 20 simple moving average. Can as well use uh, exponential moving average, it doesn't matter. So um, let me go to, for example, change this one to exponential moving average. EMA stands for exponential moving average, then SMA stands for simple moving average. Okay. Then uh, we go to this color let me change it if i want to change it i can change it to blue then i hit on confirm you can see it has already appeared there then i will add the second one at the moving average which is 20. the other one was the 20 i was 10 so this one is uh, 20 
I also change it to exponential moving average then the color I'll leave it as yellow then I hit call farm now how am I going to be using these indicators uh, when the 10 moving average which is in the blue closes the yellow uh, 20 moving average which is exponential uh, facing up and price is already uh, up in the moving average to tell me that price is going to uh, go up and if I'm to predict or uh, the uh, determine where price is likely to head then I will hit buy remember when you are buying you are assuming that from your entry point after one minute or two minutes whichever you choose price will be above if price is above uh, within that one minute you said then your prediction will be right and you will have won and that's how you see these percentages okay unfortunately i was using a real account and i have pressed uh, a deal you can see this red line shows that i'm in uh, a sell uh, where i'm staking five dollars if you're observing my uh, account was on 39 it has reduced to 34 and is already counting down so if it is up i have done it mistakenly i'll be losing those funds okay so after that i think i will uh, i'll change it to a demo account so that i don't do that such a mistake if i'm lucky and it, it drops below this red line uh, you see this blue moving uh, line is the price the current price if it moves below the red line and clocks to one i will have won so uh, you can see i have already lost this is the result 0, 0.00 and i have lost five dollars so that's how basically it works um i will go to a demo account i'll trail later uh use the demo accounts a demo account those are not those, this uh, this is just for education purposes or for practice that is not uh, my actual my fans and um that's how basically it works so you can see the, the, here there is a crossover if i was to enter i was supposed to enter somewhere here and uh, if i'm to again sell or predict that the price will drop i'm supposed to wait for what we call a pullback uh, maybe price reaches here rejects these uh, moving averages and this kind of rejection here so i can hit enter or i can hit sell hmm? hoping that price will continue dropping okay so that's it yeah we let's go to here when you tap here you can see the lines if i want to put there the line you can put it there the horizontal line uh, change the color if you wish uh, let me say um red then hit confirm you can see the color line has been there you can move it and where I'm, i was i showing you if i want to enter i was waiting for price to reach somewhere here then i the uh, price can continue falling uh, so i can make some cold cash so it did not happen i mistakenly used the real account of my funds and i had to place uh, on sale so you can see how i have added this horizontal line if you want to remove it you can go here then click on the close then it has already disappeared if you want uh, to add the vertical line you can also uh, put it there you can see the yellow line if i want to change it i can change it uh, maybe let me say to purple yeah then confirm you can see eh? can see uh sorry for the network connection but it's coming back um hold on a bit as it is coming okay 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 so i can remove it as well if i want but this is the horizontal line you can move it uh, tap on your screen on that other line and you can move it anywhere so if i tap on it here added one then this X which is in red uh, then it is empty if you want to add uh, the other social trading you can click here you can see them and um, this uh, has something to do with the forces of demand and supply and what do I mean by demand are uh, these green figures 
those are the buyers who are predicting that the price will go higher and these red figures as i said are the sellers who are predicting that the price is going to drop so the higher the figures or the amounts if the forces of demand exceed those of sellers or suppliers then price will absolutely go higher and vice versa so if you want to remove you can remove them okay if you want to uh, if you actually want to know how much you are staking you can go here you can either remove and you write the figure you want maybe i want to stake ten dollars or you can reduce it using this button like this like this or you can add using this plus button like this like that so the percentages i was telling you will be seeing them here this is 87 87 which means if you sell and you win you'll win 87 percent of the 10 dollars you are staking if you win when you are staking rather when you are predicting that the price will go higher by clicking on the buy button then you will win 87 percent of the 10 dollars you are staking i hope that is very clear and when you lose you lose the 10 dollars so that's how it works all right all right all right and if you want to see um the transaction you have made that particular day you can go here at the top i will be able to see the trades you have placed for example you can see uh on uh 5th november on a demo account i was able to trade only once and i won uh, nine dollars i was taking five dollars and i won uh, the, the the profit plus the capital uh, the, the, the the principal which is a total of nine percent okay here i was taking 25 uh, dollars and uh, the profit plus the 25 dollars as the principal i was able to get 46.75 so ideally that's how it works and i hope that i have covered almost each and everything however let me also place uh, a trade uh, for a live example what i am trying to make let me first turn to one minute then i confirm okay so you can see uh the, the, the moving averages are almost going to cross my heading above however you can also see that uh, there is a rejection here so as price just comes back slightly down i'll hit a buy uh, button hoping that price will go higher so for my entry point if price continues to go higher then within one minute and it's still high then i will have made a profit and if the reverse uh, happens then i will have lost okay anyway let me just hit a uh, buy since i'm hoping the price is likely to uh, go higher let me hit here like this so i'm staking ten dollars right i hit buy you can see this uh green line with the ten dollars it has already started uh, calculating they are 30 seconds this time at one minute and they are showing you new deal the moment clocks to zero 0, 0.00 um, when it is still on uh, above then i will have one and if it is below i will have lost the ten dollars so let's wait let's wait let's wait wow you can say i have one twelve point fifty dollars so that's how basically it works otherwise thank you guys um subscribe like and uh, turn on the, the, you know, the notification bell icon until next time if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'll get you back peace